Welcome to Lisa's Littles. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is Tuesday. Happy Toddler Tuesday. I am here with Mia. And today's Toddler Tuesday theme was Disney, which we don't really have any Disney clothing for the toddlers except for the Minnie Mouse costume. And unfortunately, it is packed away with the Halloween stuff. So <laughs> I don't have access to it right now. So I know that Sam gave an alternative of Disney colors, I believe it was. Like yellow is for Donald Duck, red is for Mickey Mouse, things like that. So we are going to use the alternative theme for Toddler Tuesday. So Mia chose her vintage Fire Chief outfit. I know you guys have seen it before, but she was super excited to put it on again because it has been a while. And this outfit is from, I believe the 90s. I'm not positive, I got it off of eBay. It is size six to nine months, so it fits her pretty good. It's a little bit snug in the butt area because Mia has a big butt, like her mom. But it still nonetheless fits her, so we have her in this outfit and we are gonna say that the red is for Mickey and the yellow is for Donald. And the green, I'm gonna say that the green is for Buzz Lightyear. He's Disney too, but I know he's not, you know, like real, real old like Donald. And actually, I think blue was supposed to be for Donald, so we're gonna say the yellow is for Pluto. So we have yellow for Pluto and red for Mickey Mouse and green for Buzz Lightyear. And you guys, as always, Toddler Tuesday is hosted by our friends, Sam at Reborn Love Babies and Renee at Renee's Reborns. So happy Toddler Tuesday. We hope you all are having a great day. Mia is super excited to finally be in a video. And we are going to combine this video into a two-parter because almost all of my vintage stuff arrived. I'm a little bit disappointed and I will let you know why. Um, I'm still waiting on who remembers sleeping bags for babies. Well, I ordered a sleeping bag, a Raggedy Ann and Andy sleeping bag from 1979, I believe it was. And it should be here I'm hoping tomorrow, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, it was supposed to be here today, but it got delayed. Um, I still have not heard back from the lady with the other lot of vintage clothing, unfortunately. So I'm giving her another day or two. And then I'm going to message her again. So I have a big vintage haul to share with you guys. I'm trying to sort it out. Either I don't read descriptions very well, or this lady put in a bunch of stuff that was not in the description of the eBay lot. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Because you guys all know that I am not a big knit or crochet person when it comes to clothing. Hats, accessories like scarves, hats, gloves, I love. But full on clothing, I'm not real big on. Unless, of course, it was made by someone that I knew and given to me, then, of course, I would keep it and use it. But this lot had quite a bit of knit stuff, and the sizes were not correct. <laughs> I thought I was buying most of this stuff for Emma. Some of this stuff is too big for Mia and Maddie. So I probably will be offering it to one of you guys who has a large uh, doll that they can dress because some of this looks like toddler, toddler, toddler sizes or small child. But we're gonna go ahead and start. This outfit right here could probably fit Mia. Um, it says 18 months and it's probably not supposed to go to your knees but it probably would on Mia, but she could probably fit it. So I am gonna start, this is my vintage clothing haul from eBay. 
minus one clothing lot and my baby sleeping bag, which should be here any day. So let's get started. And I'm just gonna show you guys everything. And then in a different video, I will probably be offering some of these items to whoever wants them, but that'll be in a different video. So first off, we have this blue dress. And I think I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna point the camera down. So we have that blue dress. It is size 18 months. It's pretty cute. Then I have a knitted outfit, you guys. A knitted outfit. And it unfortunately does not have a size. So there is that one. There's the feet. Okay. All right. Then this is what I was super excited for. This is crazy, I know. I bought the lot just for this. <laughs> this little beach hat. I was super excited about that hat. Then we have a pair of corduroy pants that have feet in it. And they are size six to nine months. And they go with this dress. And this is actually for Emma for Valentine's Day. Here are the pants. And then this is the dress that goes with it. And I got that for uh, Emma's Valentine. Then we have a toddle time size one, which is 18 and a half to 23 pounds. And it is a pajama set. And I do remember these pajama sets, but I have not seen it in a very long time. There is no feet. So, and it's really, really thin and airy. Then we have a little pair of, um, Carter's nine months, like uh, sweatpants that has a little koala bear on the leg. There are those with the little koala bear. Then we have a really, really old um, nightgown. <laughs> this would have been a nightgown that I wore when I was younger. The same type. Gosh, feeling it in my hands reminds me of the way it felt when I used to wear them. Holy smoke. This is by Tom Girl, and it is a size 3T, so it is huge. And it is an old timey nightgown. Sorry about that, I hit the thing. I'm super excited about these pants. These are a pair of corduroy pants. And there is no maker. But it says size 18 months, so they're big. But they should be able to fit Mia or Maddie. Those, super cute. Then we have another dress. Notice that so far only one thing will probably fit Emma. And she was the person I had in mind when I bid on this lot because the description did not <laughs> say all of these huge sizes. Here's another little pink dress, which would be super cute for Easter for Mia or Maddie. Then I have a little uh, pink knit sweater. Um, then we have a rather large pair of Sears. It's a Sears infant sleeper. And it is 22 to 25 pounds, no, 20 to 20, 22 to 25 pounds. And it is Sears, that is, look at that. Talk about vintage, there you go. And it is yellow terry cloth with a Easter bunny. And we could probably put Mia in those. They'd probably be big, but Mia could probably wear those. Then we have another huge, huge dress. Sorry for my heavy breathing, you guys. I just got done eating dinner. Check out my short. I made a homemade pot pie for yesterday, Monday. I'm recording this Monday night. And here is a big dress. And it is by Polly, Polly 
Slenders. Size 6X. <laughs> I don't have anybody. It's cute. See? But I don't have anybody that can fit 6X. Then I have another knitted outfit that is by, geez, I can't even see, Cradle, Cradle Set. And it is a size large, 100% ac uh, acrylic. So it has feet in it, it zips up the front. It has that little logo on it. There is no maker on this one. Then we have another huge dress and I don't know what size it is, but it's pretty big. It has a tie around the waist and it's blue flowered and it reminds me of the 70s and 80s. There's that one. And then I have this little duck button or snap up shirt that is size six months and it is by sprockets isn't sprockets a sears brand or not sears mervins isn't sprockets a mervins a mervins brand yeah i think that says mervins wow talk about a blast from the past and then last but not least i was super excited about these pants um, I don't know who the maker is, but they're also size 18 months. And look at this, you guys. See the little pants? They snap up the legs. When was the last time you have seen these pants? I have not seen pants like this since the 80s for sure. So there is that. And then there's one more outfit for this haul. And I was disappointed, disappointed, disappointed. The pants are cute. This was supposed to be... Emma's Easter outfit. Here's the pants, which the pants are still good. Here is the little dress. It has little chicks on it, but all the buttons are missing except for one. So, unless I sew some buttons on it, there it is. Disappointment in the yellow, the little last yellow outfit, you guys, because I bought that separate. That was from a different seller who failed to mention that the buttons were missing. So, boo on them. I paid $11 for that outfit. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. We hope you all had an amazing Toddler Tuesday. Mia says hi. She missed you guys. And there you have it, my eBay haul minus a few things. When the other things come in, we'll do another video with another haul. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Me and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye, guys.